Hello, I'm Nari McDiamond for MiningNews.net and I'd like to welcome Glenn Grayson, Managing Director of Explorer Aruma Resources. And Glenn, you've got an interesting portfolio of projects in Western Australia. How do you best sum up the company? Hi, Nari. Um, it is an interesting mix. Um, so I guess if you followed Aruma's story, we were essentially a gold explorer. Uh, we, we managed to to drag in a lithium project, which um, adds a lot of value to us at the moment. But the, the gold projects are starting to, um, I guess, evolve into other commodities, uh, rare earth or base metals as well. So there is a really good mix of, of interesting projects. And I think the, the projects in itself held a, a lot of merit. Well, if we delve a little deeper into your three key projects, Glenn, and you've got gold, as you mentioned, there's a lot of corporate interest in lithium projects in Western Australia at the moment and rare earths as well. Can you provide an overview of your three key projects? Yep, so I've got Mount Deans, which is a lithium project that's uh, 10 kilometres south of Norseman. Uh, so that's within the, the Yulgarn Lithium Triangle, as we call it. So a well-known pegmatite field that was never tested for lithium uh, until recently, when we drilled recently. Um, but along with the lithium, the, the pegmatites there do have a, a really good mix of other metals. And in fact, there's a, a Tanlin resource um, from 2003 that Tanlin Australia did, um, which is economic in today's prices. Um, there is a lot of tin there. Uh, we have quite high grade rubidium, which um, we're yet to, to work out if it holds any value for us. Um, but there's also cesium and, and niobium there. So, it's a really interesting one um, and does create a lot of interest in, in us um, for that reason, that is lithium. Uh, second one I really like is up in the Pilbara in the Ashburton Basin. Uh, it's about 130 kilometres south of Newman, uh, our saltwater project. Um, again, was pegged for gold. Um, the local um, pasture owners up there, station owners are, are getting nuggets out of the creeks up there. Um, so we pegged it for gold, but previous uh, explorers in the area of, of, were successful in finding some rare earths. Um, recent work that we've gone in to do shows us that along with the rare earths and gold, we think it's it's really prospective for base metals and uh, BMS style mineralisation. So the first few trips up there, we found that we're getting quite um, anomalous values of cobalt, copper, zinc, um, and some silver. So. Saltwater is evolving uh, into something that not quite sure just yet, but it's a, it's a big patch of ground and a really interesting part of Australia. And the other third one that I really like as well is the I am a gold GA, so gold's, gold's my history, um, is salmon gums. was always mapped as part of a different train, so not part of the Yilgarn, part of the, the Albany Fraser Zone, but we know that it, it is Yilgarn rocks. We know it is part of the, the Norseman um, extent of the, the terrain there. It's 30 kilometres south of Pantoro's currently operating Scotia project. And we did drill some holes last year, one of which had five metres of 50 grams um, gold in it. So we know that the tenor of gold is Norseman style. The style of mineralisation is Norseman style. Um, so that's one that I really like. And we're currently drilling there right now, um, Diamond Core. And we're trying to figure out what that five metres of 50 grams um, was in and, and that's to help us model it up and, and extend that. So like I said, the, the projects are varied, but they're all really interesting and, and have really good merit within themselves. So. so, Glenn, you've got a lot going on. And in terms of who's leading the company, can you provide an insight into a rumours management team? I can. So we had a bit of a, a change uh, late last year and earlier this year. I come on as managing director at in January, after Peter Swan, a long time MD, stepped aside. Um, so I've got about 30 years' experience as a geo, uh, primarily in gold across Victoria and Western Australia. Um, got a really good senior geo, Tim, who's got plus 10 years' experience um, in multi commodities gold, um, nickel, copper within Western Australia. Um, one of my directors, Brett Smith. But um, vast amount of experience as a geologist within Australia and, and North America, um, and a, a really nice guy as well, which is good. Um, and James Moses, who's my chairman, he uh, lives over in Sydney, but he's had a long history in investor relations um, and that part of the industry, which is an important part for us to understand as well. So that that mix 
in running the company is um is working out to be invaluable, I think, uh, especially with Brett and James there to to support me. So. Well, Glenn, you mentioned investor relations a moment ago, and in terms of any potential shareholders listening, what would you say are Aruma's investment highlights? Well, I think it's that we do have a really good portfolio. Um, and, yeah, we were a gold explorer for a long time. We are evolving to, to be looking for, for other commodities, the lithium and the rare earth and, and now potentially base metals. Um, old saying we have in this game is you pegged the right ground for the wrong reason. So, you know, if we find base metals at Saltwater, um, fantastic. So it's recognising what you do have um, is a really important part of, of our job. And, you know, OD6 down in in the uh, near Esperance of uh, uh, successful in finding the finding rare earth plays as a uh, meter down there. You know, that's just understanding what could be there and, and recognising it. So we've got a, a great portfolio of brown. Um, we've got five projects in total and, and they all have really good merit to, to go and explore in their own right. I think that's the, the real investment highlight for a rumour. Well, Glenn, thank you very much for taking the time to have a chat this morning. Much appreciated. No worries. Thank you, Nari.